Hello, my friend. How are you? So um, let me show you how you can run correlations in SPSS. And to do this, I'm using a fictitious data set in which I have three variables here, temperature, mood, and depression. Now, we can assume that there is some correlation between those factors. For example, that when temperature goes up, depression goes down, or when depression goes up, mood goes down. And these are all things that we can test for, right? So in order to do this, is extremely straightforward. On the top menu here, we're going to click on Analyze. Since we want to do correlations, shockingly, we're going to scroll down to Correlate. And we're going to choose the first option, which is Bivariate. And that's because we want to correlate two variables. So we're going to click here on Bivariate. This window pops up. The first thing we have to do is drag to the variable box uh, the variables that we want to correlate. So I'm going to drag all three variables of temperature, mood, and depression. Uh, you can click on options if you want to uh, choose for means or standard deviations or cross product deviations. But in this case, I'll just uh, cancel. If you want to change anything on style or do bootstrapping, you can click there. But what's really important here is to define the correlation coefficient. Um, in the Pearson, you use for parametric when you have parametric uh, data and Kendall and Spearman when you have non-parametric uh, data. All right, so you can simply click on them if you want to have those two. So I'll leave here with Pearson. Uh, the test of significance, if you want uh, one-tailed or two-tailed, you can choose as you want. And when you're done, you simply click on OK. And then you get this result right here. So let's have a look at it. So I have here my three variables, temperature, mood, and depression. And then obviously on top, temperature, mood, and depression. Look at the correlation between the same variables, it doesn't make any sense. So temperature and temperature, we can ignore. If we look at temperature and mood, uh, I have here N, which is 100, so I have 100 participants. And this is my significance level. It's highly significant, this correlation, right? Signi the p-value here is under um, 0 0.05. But perhaps what is the most important thing here is to look into the correlation coefficient. And there are two things to interpret. The first, if it's positive or negative. Since I don't have a negative sign, that means it's a positive correlation, meaning that when temperature goes up, mood also goes up. And what I have here in my correlation uh, coefficient is a moderate effect. So there is a moderate correlation between temperature and mood, meaning that when temperature goes up, mood also goes up. Uh, when temperature goes down, mood also goes down. And, it, and the, the correlation coefficient is almost like an effect size. So the, si the, the coefficient will tell you how, um, how strong, so to say, the correlation is. Okay? For example, if I compare temperature with depression, it's also highly significant. But I have here a negative correlation. Can you see? Which means that when temperature goes up, depression goes uh, down. And when the temperature goes down, depression goes up. And what I have here is a very large correlation uh, coefficient, saying that the correlation between them is actually quite strong. If I compare, for example, mood with depression, it's also significant, and it's also a negative correlation, meaning that when mood goes up, depression goes down. When mood goes down, depression goes up. And I have here a moderate large um, correlation coefficient. All right, so this is how you run correlation in SPSS. This is how you interpret it. And I wish you all the absolute best. Listen to music and try to learn a musical instrument because that's really important for your life and cognitive development. See you later. All the absolute best. Bye-bye.